Christian. You bastard! You want to do this right now? Back off and shut your mouth. Yeah. Where are the children? They're at home with my mom. Wrong. I suggest you call your mother. You stay away from my sister. Stay away from her children. They're my children. Too. Wrong. Touch my fucking niece again, I'll break your fucking legs. Diana, I want the kids at the house now. Hey, handsome. How are you feeling? Like shit. Come a little closer so I can see your face. I'm not gonna bite you. People do change. Hey, let me fix your pillow. Oh, no, I can do it. <laughs> Those flowers are pretty. All your favorites. I've always wanted to have a garden. Dark roses. And every type of flower. I've dreamt of waking up each morning and smelling the roses. Do you like flowers, Trey? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. White roses. Mm -hmm. 
You should have your rose garden. You know? <coughs> no. I think my time is almost done. Forget about time. You want a garden? You should have a garden. Tell me. What kind of flowers would you have? You always know what to say. How to say it. You smile. So tell me about you, silly. How are you? Breaking any hearts lately? Every chance I get. <laughs> I got your laptop. And I already downloaded lots of porn for you. Okay, okay. The great stuff. And also, I got a special present. <laughs> You're crazy. You can't smoke that stuff here. I just got caught last week. Smoke it at night? Who's going to know? No. no. You don't know Nurse Elizabeth. Okay. I am going to put this right there for easy reach. <laughs> also, your mother calls. She wants to hear from you. She called and she sounded concerned. Did you tell her I moved out? I... What? I just... I just don't want to talk to her or my dad. So the next time they call, we'll... <coughs> oh, you told them that... You don't know where I am. I can't do that. You know what? I don't care. I just don't know where I want them to know. Where I am. Or what I've become. It's too hard. collections I've seen in years. I know. This is what I call fashion. It'll be the awakening of the fashion industry as we know it, specifically for this decade. We're going to create clothes that women or men are going to love. They're going to love wearing them and they're going to want to wear them. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. It's about this Valentino guy. Adrian's boyfriend? X. His ex. We know he's been chosen to be the lead designer for DeMarco Creations. And we also know that he wants to be a part of this company with you guys. What I'm wondering is now that he's a designer over there, how's that gonna affect I him? know that Valentino will make the right decision. Whatever that is in his mind. He's very competitive and he'll do whatever he can to try to bring us down. Not because he wants to, but because he hates it when he fails at his design. I've seen his work. He's a great designer, he's very talented, and he knows exactly how to dress a woman, and he knows what they want to wear. I have a feeling he'll be a great asset to DeMarco Creations. There's no doubt about that. So you ready to go head to head on the runway? Mm-hmm. Adrian and I both knew what we were getting ourselves into. He's gonna try to crash us down, but he will not destroy this company. Have you talked to him? Like, really? Talk to him. I haven't. I've just been so mad and cold at what he's been doing to Adrian lately. You know I had a crush on him, right? 
No way. Yep. We almost hooked up once. So what happened? Well, he fell for my best friend. So I backed off. <laughs> wow. You know, just forget I said anything, actually. Do we know about the whereabouts of Diaja? No. No. Should we be concerned? I mean, this is the first time he's ever done anything look, like this look, before. Look, look. Diageo, he's a Demargo, okay? So I'm sure he can take care of himself just fine. Hmm? I gotta go. Tell AJ I'll see you later, okay? I will. Oh, and let's go. Adrian and Valentino, they'll always end up together. What's that supposed to mean? I don't want to see you get hurt. That's all. Giovanni, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Alex, I didn't come here to upset you. Actually, to be honest, I. I think you should never come back here again. What? Why? I can do that. You can't. Or you won't. Please don't ask me that. You're a great guy. And. I love you for all that you've done for me. I couldn't have asked for a better friend. I just want you to remember us and remember me from, from the first time we met. Not me now. Who you are is you. Every time I look at you, I see you. All I see is you. You are a passionate and beautiful person that... No, no, I, I just think you, you should leave and never come back. Oh, yeah. I think you deserve a life away from me. Far away from me. I already have a life with... No. It's a good vibe. I have decided that it would be best to place the children in a foster home. No! Oh. No! Order! Your Honor, taking the children, the children away from the only family they've ever known, from the only place that they've ever known, is they're putting them with strangers. It's absolutely crazy. Scary. Your Honor, with all due respect, we both know the system does not work. And if you do it, you want to punish the parents, that's great. Placing the children in a foster home, it might not destroy them, but it's definitely not the best decision. Okay, quiet. 
It seems to me that neither party can provide a loving and caring person for these children. I don't want to go away. You know what? Uh, whatever, I'm sorry. I just, I want to say one thing. I lived in a foster home for six months, and after my adopted parents died, for me and my brother Alan, that was the worst month of my life. I could have you arrested for that. I could have you arrested. But I do have a decision to make. And the children do have to be with a family member. Your Honor, the children can stay with me. Mr. Geary, I... We've known each other for a long time now, no doubt that you would be good for the children. But I've decided to give full custody to that gentleman back there. What's your name? Yes. Yes, what's your name? Adrian. What? You what? You what? Your Honor, he's a homosexual! There's no way I'm gonna have him raise my children! No, there's no way! No way! He's gonna raise my children! Somebody please remove Mr. Williams from oh. my courtroom.
Mike, get out. Let me help you out. <laughs> this is fine. Watch it. Thank you. I'm going to go get the nurse. Would you like some water? Yeah, I feel a little queasy. <coughs> Thanks. I'm Adrian, by the way. <clears throat> I'm... I'm Elliot. Uh, can you do me a favor? I dropped my book under the bed. Sure. <clears throat> the Outsiders, huh? It's a good book, but uh, kind of a sad ending. I think I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> You okay? Just breathe. So, are you an angel? Nah. I don't really even believe in angels. I'm just a volunteer. Look, now I'm gonna get the nurse, okay? Oh, hey. Yeah? Thank you. No worries. Oh, hey. Yeah. Yeah? Um, next time you come back, can we talk about the book? Sure thing, buddy. Get some rest. Feel better, man. This was happening. I couldn't. I mean, if Dad knew that I know. Did he ever beat you? <laughs> <laughs>